You'd be forgiven for thinking that this was a photograph. It's actually not. It's the most incredible drawing created from pastels. And the artist who created this is here with me, Naomi. This is just incredible. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, and this has been nominated for the Wildlife Artist of the Year Award 2022. And how does that That's feel? Amazing, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I think when I heard um, that it had been shortlisted, I did a dance around the kitchen for about 10 minutes. My husband thought I'd gone a bit loopy. <laughs> <laughs> now, everyone does think it's a photograph. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into this. Can yep. you just talk us through the process of how you create something like this? Yeah, so, um, I mean, it starts right back from the planning stages where, you know, you're sort of figuring out what you want to convey. Um, a lot of that is what kind of feeling and emotion you want to bring through in the work. Um, so finding the right photos that will um, work together as a composition um, it's, it's sort of the first stage and then when it comes to the actual drawing um, it's building up many many layers each one more detailed than the next we can see that here and it's almost like you're you're working on sections at a time it's not the yeah. whole picture in its entirety that's right yeah so yeah exactly like you said i'll work on a small section until that's pretty much done and then i'll move on to the next section and just build up piece by piece painstaking work i mean how long does a picture like this take you uh, this one specifically, I worked on over a number of weeks. Um, yeah, a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing these pictures for? Uh, so professionally for four and a half years. Um, before that, it was just a hobby. Um, yes. <laughs> you took a real leap of faith, didn't you? Because you were actually a sound engineer originally. Right. I mean, what made you make the change to doing this full time? Um, I actually just posted up a quick sketch on Facebook that I did of a dog and it got such an amazing response um, that I thought, oh, maybe, maybe there's something in this. And so I sort of pursued it a little bit in my free time um, and just the following kind of grew and grew until I sort of had the confidence to actually give it a go And you have clients all over the world now. All over the world, as far as Australia, um, a lot from America. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> when you create something like this, I mean, what, what's in your head? What do you think of the finished article? Um, hard to say, really. Sometimes, sometimes you get really close to it and it's hard to kind of be um, objective about things. So having a third person like my husband kind of look at it and notice where things are wrong with it is quite useful. Um, but yeah, quite often the ones that... Um, I'm often not so sure about the ones that people love, so you never really know. You no, know. No. <laughs> and obviously you love wildlife and mm -hmm. it's something that's very close to your heart and you say that this is the way you make change by looking at things positively. There is a Absolutely. lot of doom and gloom out there. Yeah, I think it was David Attenborough that said um, uh, people won't protect what they don't care about and it's so true. So a lot of my art is about connecting people to those animals, helping them to care more about them so that you know, we can all affect positive change together. Yeah. You're, you're from Newquay, you live in Newquay now. Yeah. Um, how does that influence your artwork? Does it at all being in these surroundings? Um, I've actually recently moved to Newquay, um, but yeah, we've uh, just, I have a real love for the natural world and um, just animals in general. And even from a little kid, and when I was eight, I wanted to be a vet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just animals in the natural world in general, being close to the ocean, um, spending a lot of time outdoors in the countryside. Well, please yeah. let us know how you get on, because I know the judging is at the end of this month. That's right. To be honest, there are so many incredible artists that have been shortlisted, so I'm just, like, over the moon. I'm really humbled to just be in the mix, so... An amazing yeah. talent. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. <laughs>